okay, this is something that I meant to mention uh, at the end of our tutorial on uh, HTML5 and video. And by meant to mention, I meant I just found out something when I tried to upload that script and videos to my actual web server. So if you were running this locally, no problem doing it just the way we did it. But if you're going to be running it on a server, uh, you may need to do this. We need to create a file, an HT access file. So what we're going to do is we're going to just say vim, and we're in the folder with our videos in HTML5. We're going to say .ht access, and we're creating a file. It's a hidden file, and the lines we're going to add to it, we're going to add type video slash og, and then the extension. So uh, depending on whether you're using .og or .ogv, um, you may want to add both into here. And we're going to do the same thing for the other two formats. So add type video mp4 and the file extension will be .mp4 and add type video slash webm and the extension is webm. So that's it. Once you save that, uh, and upload that to your services, server as well, you should be able to access those files. Otherwise, you just get a white box where the video should be. I apologize about that. Once again, I am doing these tutorials as I learn. So as I make mistakes, I can pass that on to you and you can uh, learn from my mistakes. So I apologize if there was any confusion and I hope that this little update helped you. So just create that .ht access file to tell the server to give the browser access to those files um, or something like that. Anyway, thank you once again for watching. Uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, if you didn't watch the first video, I should have an annotation linking you to the full tutorial on creating um, uh, video tags in HTML5. And I just hope that you have a great day.